Well, yesterday morning, a devastating tornado hit the communities of Danville and Perryville in Kentucky. A family of 11 had their home leveled, prompting an hours-long search for a three-year-old who, by the grace of God, was found alive. More than one dozen have been transported to the hospital, and unfortunately, one person did die. Meteorologist Amy Metz is live in Perryville, Kentucky, with the latest. Hey, Amy. Thank you, Rob. Yes, unfortunately here it's not a great scene like so many others. It's been such a dangerous month for severe weather, was, except for one day in the last month. I was just looking. It was May 8th all the way until now. There was only one day without a tornado report in all that time. So there are just so many communities hurting just like this one. Now, the tornado luckily uh, didn't make it all the way to Danville, but very, very close. Uh, we're talking right on those borders and so many more close by. What we're seeing now behind me is a car that's been covered up by by a tree and right on top of the hill behind me. This is where we can see drone footage uh, that we have prepared where unfortunately this is one of the homes that has been leveled and there are workers, volunteers in there cleaning up now. A lot of these roads very narrow, still closed down with crews barely able to get in and out themselves to get things running again here. Power outages and road closures are a problem for so many others right now with all of these storms that have been going on. So at least we've been hearing lately that, you know, everybody has been accounted for here. And the public information officer just told me there have not been needs here that are unmet. Everybody does have shelter for tonight. And as we look at other places, uh, we'll be doing some updates tomorrow with St. Louis as well, London, Kentucky, so many others. I want to make note because there's more in the forecast. There's something that can empower you and your loved ones to stay a little bit safer and stay ahead of the storm. Something called base velocity that meteorologists use. And we all have the power to access at our fingertips these days on weather apps or computers. So we're looking at some radar imagery here where first there's a beam going up, kind of showing you an idea of what that network from the National Weather Service looks like. Uh, they go out into beams and scan the air in a certain, uh, at a certain length of time, and then they come back and it will tell the computer how fast and what direction the wind is moving based on different algorithms in there. So from that, we can actually catch a tornado. That's how meteorologists make tornado warnings. They're called couplets. And it looks like this on your radar where it's really bright green and really bright red. If those two colors get very close to each other and they are circular, that means the air is moving in different directions close to one another. So there's a few uh, tricks that you should learn, but plenty of tutorials out there. I have one available from meteorologist Amy Metz, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. They have plenty of them also. So whatever you can do to stay a little safer, uh, that's what I'd like you guys to be looking into as we look ahead to, unfortunately, Rob, there are more severe weather forecasts here in this week ahead. Back to you. All right, Amy, thank you so much for that report. Well, it's a showdown 